Good morning, 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 morning. Welcome to another thrilling No, oh, that's not working. Welcome to another thrilling instalment of Watching paint dry uh, Subtitle They never did find out who the dad was I doing this for I want it to dribble this way oh hello Cheryl hello Cecilia I don't know if that is your name just now right give me a second you all can look at yourselves I'll be there <clears throat> Need to let that soak in. Um, I've been locked down with um, her indoors now for uh, weeks, and and a lot of people. A lot of people, a lot of relationships, it's brought them closer together. But um, I just seem to find myself uh, wallowing in bitter resentment of all the uh, past things that we've been together 30 years now. And uh, a certain incident came to mind when we'd been together. Three or four years. Um, as I've said in previous um, posts, if you've been paying attention, uh, she is uh, totally dead inside, has no compassion at all. Um, anyway, without further ado, I want it to dribble this way, by the way, I want it to dribble that way. Nice and slowly, like a mud slide. Yeah. I was uh, I was born with a very, very uh, poorly ear. Yeah, I had uh, just little tumours kept uh, deciding to grow in it. Well, it's not my ear; it's the back of my ear. Yeah which um, can be quite serious. In fact, no, it can be quite serious. It's, it's my particular thing, is, uh, it is serious. So um, if I do get sort of pain, pain there, I uh, am supposed to be, it's, a, uh, it's an emergency thing. So uh, I have been getting a lot of pain from my ear. And it was getting um, slowly worse. And uh, on one particular night, it got uh, so bad. I have no idea what's going off in there. I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know if you can hear that. Right. Where are we? Oh, bugger. Don't say bugger when you're doing a mindfulness thing. So, I was in quite a lot of pain. 
and uh, Julia being oh sorry I shouldn't mention her name her downstairs um, said if I didn't shut up she's going to throw me out of the bedroom well she did eventually throw me out of the bedroom uh, because of my moaning and whining um, so where did I just put that brush it was in my hand. Found it. Stop looking. Don't want that to dribble down there. Where was I? So, we lived in a flat and I was chucked into the, uh, the living quarters, where, um, but I was still next door, I was still next door, so eventually she'd had enough of my uh, whining in the next, next room and she burst in at about three o'clock in the morning she said, if you don't shut up. Phoning the doctors. So uh, I said, I think you'd probably better do. And so uh, she did phone the doctors. Anyway, a doctor came out. Um, rushed to hospital as you do. And uh, never known pain like it. Um, so, uh, they gave me some, um, what was the painkiller called? It was amazing. It was amazing stuff. Yeah. Um, is it pethidine? Anyway. He gave me some pethidine, and um, which made me entirely numb. So I couldn't um, couldn't speak or anything like that. I couldn't move my limbs. Or anything like that. Um, and um, anyway, my mother turned up as well. And uh, what the two women in my life uh, then did was uh, as if I was like some kind of garden fence, they. Uh, they started uh, moaning about the world. Yeah, as I am lying there on my deathbed, a slight exaggeration, they're moaning about the world and they're going on and on and on. And I can't move a muscle, I can't do anything. All I can do is just, just lie there and put up with it. That was the wrong colour. And um, eventually I. Uh, manage to uh, zone out as you do and uh, I must have come round to this noise this um, people talking uh, I have no idea what's going off outside Hello, Nikki. Hello, Amy. I've just seen your video, Amy. You are the most beautiful woman on earth. He, you're too good for him, I'm telling you. You you give me a ring. Yeah, so where was I? Yeah, I was there, right, on these really heavy painkillers. 
and I'm just coming round, just coming round, and uh, I hear talking. And what transpired is mother and wife have been there all the time moaning. I thought I died and it was some kind of hell because I still can't move, right? And and I wake up to they never did find out who the dad was. And um and they're uh, all fur coat, no knickers. Yeah, and I woke up to them still there, droning on and on and on and on. Uh, and that is, uh, and I didn't ever did find out who the dad was. In fact, I hadn't got a clue what they're talking about. Do I want that higher up? Do I want that higher up? Do I want that higher up? And then relax. You're going to find me. I still haven't received, I mean this happened about 25, 26 years ago and I still as yet have not have received an apology for um, not phoning the emergency services straight away. I think she might get round to it. I blame myself because it's, it's not like me to moan. And then relax. Ba -ba -ba. I um, I don't know what to do for my uh, for my next story, which I to do about six. Hello, Dorothy. Dot. I don't know what to do for my story at uh, six. I'm, I'm struggling with it really. I don't know whether to do Rufus and his ferrets. Or another tale of um, neglect, really. Wifely neglect. <laughs> yeah, to be able to vote, really. Um, would you like um, Rufus and his ferrets? Or, if you are going to bleed, can you stay in one place next time? My little finger. Right, I'm going to let that dry. It's supposed to be relaxed. I know you're feeling all chilled out and relaxed. Yeah. And... Uh, I'm getting ready for my afternoon nap. This, any watercolourists, this, oh, I'll just fiddle with that. It's when pictures always go wrong. Um, I'm going to get it to, um, I want it to tip a little bit more. That way. And that way. Why? I don't know. <coughs> That'll do. Ah.
I'm going to do the panoramic thing I've done, my Steven Spielberg bit. To find my phone. I've actually gone walking around looking for my phone and it's here. Okay. Right, I think, uh, I can't remember what this is the theme music to, but I'll do that. <sighs> right, take a deep breath. Da -da. And then pan right up like that. Okay. And I'm we'll see you at about six. Toodle pit. By the way, anybody can give me a dog. I'd very much appreciate it. I'm missing a dog. I have been offered a an angry malevolent. Did I say that right? Malevolent chicken, cockerel. There's enough of that in this house without any more. Okay then, tittle pit.